and we're live. Okay. Five, three, two. Well, hello everyone. This is uh, Ian Sagstetter, um, formerly of the Electric Coin Company and of Zek Hub in various like just community member now. And we are here to record some short podcasts with various members of the Zcash community. We're calling the Zcon sessions, just some in-person recordings while we're all here together. Our first recording and guest will be Nate Wilcox from the Electric Coin Company. Nate, how are you doing today? Great. Glad to be here. Well, thanks for taking out the time to to hop on the pod. I really just wanted to cover an update on the proof of stake research. Um, so I think for maybe the first couple minutes here, could you maybe just set the context for people who aren't familiar? Um, why is Zcash researching a potential move to proof of stake and what are the motivations there? Yeah, so uh, ECC, my company, um, we think it would be a good idea for Zcash to transition to proof of stake. And the main reason that motivates us is because we believe uh, that's a way for um, people to earn Zek from block rewards that can have a better distribution than mining or other consensus protocols. Okay. So like our motivation is make it possible for more people to earn more of the rewards uh, who are smaller players instead of like big. Well, people, people would argue that Staking is one of the arguments I hear is that um, it's like a rich get richer type thing. But what would be the response to that, right? Because it's it's probably really uh, hard to be a Zcash miner currently or, or earn Zcash via mining. Yes. So I, okay. So my response is I think any of these consensus systems are rich get richer, really. Okay. Um, it's just a matter of, uh, can you like le how much can you level the playing field? So there's always going to be like, um, uh, kind of an advantage people with more wealth have, but there is a difference in different protocols as to how much of an advantage that is. So the th the thinking, and this is kind of like uncommon or counterintuitive, is that proof of stake um, can level the playing field more. So in mining. Um, uh, it's like the, the biggest miners are the ones that have the sweetest deals on power, basically. Okay. And who has the sweetest deals on power? Probably more wealthy people, not, uh, small time miners. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. I think then the idea around this is to potentially level the playing field, distribute issuance more equally. What is the first step? Like what is the first step that's been taken to kind of ex like explore this opportunity and explore this type of change what has been what have right so um about a year ago when we uh ecc um posted a blog post that we were motivated to do this we sort of set out um like a set of goals and we gave uh, i gave a presentation at the last econ that sort of was a survey of a bunch of design issues with proof of stake protocols um that are specific to Zcash, like what are the issues that we would care more about? Um, and then over the past year, ECC, like basically I paused a lot of that work um, while we were focusing more on getting wallets working well on the Zcash yeah. blockchain because of the large transaction load. Okay. So we're just sort of emerging from that and hopefully at the end of a lot of that effort, it took longer than I expected, but um, so now we're sort of ramping proof of stake efforts back up a little bit. Um, so I just gave a presentation here at Zcon that was um, presenting like an idea. So it's like a really early design brainstorm, basically. Um, here's a way we could introduce proof of stake to Zcash. That's sort of the thinking is this could be like a first step that's a little more cautious. And that idea at a high level is to, like to add a proof of stake component while keeping proof of work running. Uh, okay. That's, that's how I, I would describe it in a nutshell. But. So from a high level, it would allow miners to continue mining and, yeah. and, and receiving um, newly issued coins, but also giving Zcash holders an opportunity to 
stake and then receive some portion of the mining reward or fees? Like what's yep. the what's the design mechanism at a high level? Okay, so at a high level, so first of all, there's a lot of details that are just undecided or open. Yeah, of course. So like one thing everyone wants to know is like, okay, well, what are the staking rewards going to be? Right? That's like, in my experience, a lot of users want to know that. Um, I don't know for sure yet, but so just at a high level, one of the big challenges with this is we would need to divide the newly issued coins between, right now it's divided between dev fund and mining. Okay. If we're going to introduce proof of stake, we got to split that up between like those three even more a little and bit. figure out how to do that. So that's going to be, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will have opinions about for sure. that. Um, so assuming we figure out how that works, then for this design at a high level, the idea is um, uh, proof of work keeps running normally. So miners are the ones producing blocks, um, but this new um, proof of stake layer, it, I call it a trailing finality layer. It's watching the blocks coming out of proof of work and then marking some of them as final. Okay. And final means they can't be rolled back. And um, the reason that is nice is that it helps some use cases. So any use case where you need to wait for a lot of confirmations mm -hmm. um, could be improved. Like we cut that time down a lot. Okay. So the one that comes to mind first for me all the time is exchange deposits. Um, but it's also that finality piece is like a really useful building block for some other things like cross chain bridges that are trust minimized and okay. which I'm excited to see built. Because that was part of the, this is like one of the benefits of potentially from my understanding of moving into a proof of stake system that kind of aligns with like Cosmos, IBC Tendermint is that you have some yeah. form of improved interoperability. Is that a motivation of like trying to see, well, potentially with the ZSA, some assets moving to the Zcash blockchain, but additionally having Zec live on other chains and being used in a wide variety of different applications. Is that like yep. one? That's one of the main motivators, right? Uh, that's a motivator for me. Um, so w we are not specifically looking at how to do bridging yet, but okay. I've heard of at least uh, three or so teams or projects who are interested in cross-chain bridging to Zcash. Um, so I'm definitely reaching out to them being like, hey, if we had finality, would that help your design? Okay. And it, yes, it would help um, some of those. Um, there's this funny subtlety though, because switching uh, to do uh, really safe bridges, you what you really need is finality. You don't necessarily need proof of stake. It's just that it comes with a lot of proof of stake designs out of the box. So yeah, uh, I'm important, really- That's an important caveat. Yeah, so this, this uh, design proposal of trailing finality um, is like a hybrid proof of work, proof of stake that could still bridge to other things. Uh, very cool awesome so i guess to sum this 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 conversation up is there's a motivation to have zcash holders be able to participate in the receiving of like new issuance of coins so yeah. receiving like some formal block reward or receiving words or fees by staking coins to the network and that levels the playing field it doesn't completely make it like more equal but it levels the playing field out yeah normal holders versus bigger operations and this new proof of stake um proposal is around introducing like a hybrid proof of stake proof of work matter. Okay. Yep. What, I guess my final question would be is what kind of like has inspired this model and what design choices have you been researching that have made you kind of come to this um, idea and present this information at the conference here? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of motivated. Um, it's, it's motivated by wanting to see if we can safely introduce proof of stake. So, like an alternative approach would be, let's just pick a proof of stake protocol and just like switch everything to it, like right at some activation height. But to me, that seems uh, a little too like reckless because we don't okay. know. Um, I mean, there are, it, there are plenty of existing protocols that are sort of demonstrating it's, that they work, but there's some uncertainty about what about the actual switching mechanism and so doing it all at once seems kind of risky. Um, doing it in steps 
makes a lot more sense to me. And like uh, Ethereum is the prime example okay. of a very large ecosystem that transitioned to proof of stake and they did it in multiple steps, right? So first they had the beacon chain and then eventually they had the merge. And this is a little bit more like, okay, let's set up a beacon chain. Okay, very cool. We're not calling it that. Though. Yeah, we're not gonna, okay, awesome. What is the, I guess, yeah, thank you for all the information on this. It's been super helpful. Where can people follow along with this research and, and what are the next steps? Yeah, so we have a blog post. Um, we'll be doing more blog posts as we do updates. Okay. But uh, if people want to get involved, they could email me uh, if, if they do email still. But that's Nathan at electriccoin.co. Um, uh, and I'm going to start popping into the Zcash R&D Discord. Um, there's a proof of stake channel. Um, there's a thread on the forum. And I'm really keen to like collaborate more with people um, from more organizations uh, because uh, I think like the Zcash ecosystem is growing up and there's more potential collaborators. And then there's also these other like bridging projects that are uh, interested and may potentially collaborate. Um, so I'm really hoping uh, to like be developing the design with a broader group as it goes so that like the whole community sort of sees it evolving we're getting the feedback as we go um and sort of refining it awesome well i think that's great and yeah so if you're listening now and are interested in participating in that obviously you can email as you just mentioned and join the zcash r d discord follow on the forums thanks for thanks for the chat and thanks for all the information i'm really excited to see where the research goes cool thanks thanks